two of you were idiots for we're staying homeless. there. We had yeah, no just choice. a second. What do you mean you had no choice? We had no choice. What do you mean you had no choice? Well, we needed a place to stay, and she was a family we're friend. Young. She just offered a, a place. We don't have a yeah, lot of money. I want to tell you something. You both sound ridiculous. Ridiculous. Thank God. This is a free America. If you're not getting along with the family friend, go someplace else. Mm -hmm. You look like two able-bodied people. So before October, you had no problem with her. Yes, In October, no, when she told... we had problems from since day one. Then you should have moved. We were planning on to, Your Honor. Planning, 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 yes, planning. Yes, we planned on planning. It's we hard have with our minimum rights wage as jobs. tenants. This, we cannot be harassed by a landlord. We have rights as tenants. When we talk to people from housing, they told us, wait for them to evict us. Don't tell me what, listen. That's what they don't. told us. They had an investigation on it for a single family housing, renting it out to three different units. That was illegal. <laughs> Right. So now the family friend you went to ha the family friend you went to housing yeah, to, to fix, get her into for fix the property that was damaged. We had water coming through our walls. My girlfriend had bronchitis for months. We had a sink that was full of water Just that she would not fix. Go like this. Go like this. Go like this. Go like this. Yeah. Get a job and move. I do get have a job. job. I do have a job. Get I work very hard for my well, job. Very good. And what about her? Does she work? She's going to school. I'm helping I her. I did Just work. A second. School. When Just I a lived second. there, I did work. Then, she did. then, if you have two able-bodied people, nobody has to live. And nobody deserves to be harassed. You're, you're nobody deserves to be harassed. Over me. This is my playpen. Don't. Okay, it's you true. You got the drift don't of where we're me. going. The drift of where we're going is if you don't like where you're living, you move. You move. What sure. you do is you don't call housing and say, "I want to know what my rights are." And yeah, because I want to know if she can throw myself in the street. You're not talking over me, and then stop paying rent. That's what you don't do unless you're a squatter. You're not um, understanding. Unless didn't... you're a squatter. And then what you do is you resort to the courts and abuse protective orders. Because I'm reading this, and this is a crock of baloney. Yes. If you came to me in family court with this crock of baloney, I would never have granted you a temporary order of protection because on the temporary order of protection, she was at the property on which you were not paying rent. We were paying rent. She refused. At that time, to, we were paying rent. What happens when they refuse to cash your checks, when they refuse to pick up your checks? Then what, what are you left with, Your Honor? I'm sorry, well, but I don't well, understand. Just a second. We just paid our stuff. We had the whole she time. She wanted you out. So it's okay for her to harass. Just it's a okay second. for her to touch. Just a second. I need it. Get a life. Get a job. Your landlord gave you 30 days notice, as she's required <laughs> to do. She gave you 30 days notice. You said, I'm not moving. How about and not I, 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 I'm not finished. I'm not moving. She says, you have to move. I'm moving out of here. This friend that okay. goes back and goes forth, you hmm. go and you file for a protective order to keep her off of her property. And then when she's on her property, you call the police you and you have her well, arrested. Like Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. We're done. Audience are excused. You may step out. We were being harassed, saying that they were going to throw our stuff in the street. I went to jail for no reason. How can you send somebody rent checks and them not deposit it and it's your fault? I catch every single check. Have everything in a correct lease. Do not have verbal agreements because something like this will happen in the future. Thank you, Judge Judy, and I'm very happy to be here.